Hmm. I wonder what people will say about me when I die. Hey, what's going on, everybody? You already know who it is. It's your boy, Mikey Savage 21, back again for another movie review. And today, we're going to be looking at the 2017 film Before I Fall, which is directed by Mr. Rye Russo Young and stars Zoe Dutch, House and Sage, Logan Miller, Kian Lolly, Jennifer Beals, Diego Bonetta, and Elena Camporis. Now, I had the uh, chance to see this film on Thursday. Uh, it was double feature night for me, and I got to see Kong Skull Island right after this one. So this was a good warm-up film. Now, getting into the basic premise of this film, the premise is you have this girl named Samantha Kingston, who's played by Zoe Dutch, um, and she's a high school senior, and she seems to be basically living the last day of her life over and over and over again until she essentially gets it right, and then on top of that, she has to figure out why she died and that's basically the premise of what we have here and what i really liked about this film is right off the bat i didn't expect much from it I said, like i said this was just a warm-up film to see the big film and i didn't expect much out of this because i was like hey, it is what it is and i had to go ahead and let you know before i give my review and my opinion on this i did not read the novel before i fall by lauren oliver but after watching this film i surprisingly thrilled by this film i mean it was actually really good it actually had a good message to it about if you essentially had one day left to live what would you do right and if you were forced to relive that day over and over again what would you take out of it and that's basically what duchess character had to do here is she essentially had to relive her entire last life over and over again because at one point in the film i think when it was 12 49 she dies in a car accident now we don't know why she dies in a car accident what causes the car accident we don't learn any of that until we get towards the end of the film when it ties itself up into a nice little neat bow but like i said this film was such a feel-good movie and it really had some some power to it zoe dutch is an amazing actress again i loved her and why him i thought she was a great catch in that film and i thought her chemistry with franco's character of laird i thought it was absolutely awesome i thought it was amazing then on top of that you could see just a little bit of comedic tones that she had in her performance as well but here she showed off her dramatic chops and showed that she has a lot to offer to this world besides just a pretty face i didn't like her chemistry right away with the character of of kian lolly i thought you know he was just a one and done guy i know a lot of people know him from youtube he he was okay in this film i mean he played his role he was playing the douchebag boyfriend that everybody hates that the pretty girl has and then she's dreaming of losing her virginity to him he played that role to the best of his ability and he was basically a douchebag and I hated him. So that was what the director, Rai Russo, I'm guessing was going for in this film. Another standout performance I have to talk about is Logan Miller. Logan Miller, I didn't see too much of him in the trailer of this movie when I did see the trailers, but he was a real catch in this film. And, and it seems like this guy, Rai Russo, was pulling from a lot of the former Nickelodeon and Disney stars here because a lot of these uh, cats and kittens basically started out on Disney Channel or Nickelodeon. So that's what I really liked about how he was just trying to get the best he could for this talent. And again, I thought Logan Miller, I thought his relationship with Zoe Dutch was so sweet and romantic. We've all been there before where we're like, like the best friend and we grew up with this girl and we have a crush on her and we want to do everything in our power to be in a relationship with her but she is this popular girl and we're at the bottom of the barrel so we're like we're gonna do anything and everything we can to impress her and then sometimes it works out and sometimes it doesn't work out another person i want to spotlight in here is houston say when i saw her on film i kept thinking to myself what movie what 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 show was she in and i was like oh that's right how to rock on nickelodeon which i love that show they should have not canceled that show i I actually love Symphony and I love the adventure she went through. But what I really liked about House and Sage is again she played the you know stereotypical best friend who's like always mean to everybody. She's a popular girl, but on the inside she's dying and she's hurting and she's really just talking about people because she feels insecure about her own needs and what she's going through. I like her relationship with Zoe Dutch. We got to see a good back and forth between her because there's this one scene that actually happens inside of a car and she just like played that role 
control up so well. Zoe Dutch just like unleashed everything on her and were basically was saying what we in the audience were thinking and to see it coming to fruition was so awesome. So as you guys can tell, basically for me, I really didn't have much of negative experience with this. I thought this was actually a really good book adaptation. Now, there were some things here and there that I was just like, okay, we're going down this road again. Like again, with a stereotypical douchebag boyfriend. We have the girl that everybody picks on because she's different. And then you have the daughter who doesn't have the best relationship with her mom or with her dad or with her little sister. But like I said, by the time we get to the end of that film, I really cared about every single one of these characters and I cared about the journey that they went on. And again, the message behind this film is so impactful and so powerful. I really recommend you give this film a chance. Like seriously, give this film a chance. I'm honestly going to give this film on a scale of 1 to 10. I'm giving this film a 8 out of a 10. I thought it was a real great watch. Thank you so much for watching this video. Remember to check the link in the descriptions below. Remember, I always have links so you can go pre-order these movies ahead of the time. So if you've read the book and you've seen the movie and you're excited and you want to go ahead and get a jump start on getting that DVD and that Blu-ray combo, then make sure you use that Amazon link in the description below to pre-order it early. Thank you as always, and I hope you all have a blessed day. Peace out, y'all.